Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I apologise that it's been so long since I last made a video. Um, I've just been major, major busy and then I haven't actually been very well for the last couple of weeks. So it's just taken a bit of a backseat to be honest. Um, but Matt and I just had an amazing weekend away in York. Weekend just gone. I had Monday off work for an inset day so we took advantage of the long weekend. Um, and we went up there because the Christmas market's already on and it was just absolutely beautiful. If ever you're looking for somewhere to go, especially around Christmas time, I would highly recommend York. It was beautiful. Um, and I want to share all the bits that I picked up at the Christmas market. So there was a craft fair in one of the churches there and then the Christmas market in the street. And this is the only item I didn't actually buy in the market itself, but I really had to include this first. This is a Magical Potions and Poisons gift box. And there's a shop in York called the Potions Cauldron and it's in them, um, there's a street called the Shambles and it looks a bit like Diagon Alley and there were so many Harry Potter shops. But this was really, really interesting because you've got this box set and you've got the four big bottles of liquid at the back and they're mixers. So you've got Basilisk Blood, you've got Unicorn Essence, Serpent's Venom and Tears of a Wizard, I think that one is. And it's Cream Soda, Lemonade, Tropical Fruits and Mixed Fruits. And then the little vials are um alcohol but they're like little little play on words so the wizard is wizard key and then you've got witch's gin vodka mort and you've got mystery rum and i just thought they were really really fun and i'm going to just apologize about the noise i should have done this before the video i'm just going to take out one of the big bottles of liquid because they've got a really cool effect oh rather not edit this video if I can help it um <clears throat> so if you look at it like this it just it's just a plain liquid but it says if you shake it and turn it up three times so one two three it makes this just amazing effect and that will just continue to kind of swirl all throughout the bottle for ages it just has such a beautiful effect beautiful effect and this gift set you could buy the mixers on their own the four of them for 10 pound or this gift set with the alcohol in it as well was 20 pounds oh sorry and i picked up three of these one for me because you know i'm obsessed with harry potter and then i picked up another two for both my sisters as part of their christmas presents um, and i thought actually for 20 pound that's a really beautiful gift box and it's very very unique and they order online the potions cauldron because i've already looked they had some beautiful candles um what else did they have loads of um like gift type ideas it just it was amazing so i picked that up and now i'm going to show you the bits that i picked up at the market itself so I picked up these little tubs of fudge. These are from my mum. So there's licorice fudge, cream egg fudge and coconut ice. Coconut ice is one of her favourite things um, and she loves cream eggs and licorice. So I thought, why not give it a go in the fudge? And this is by Forever Fudge. This was in the main square. They had a little um, hut there and they were three for six pound or six for ten. But I only picked up three of those. Um, and then we went into the craft fair. And I picked up this for my nan. So this was in inside the church. And this cost me £5. And it's a little cup and saucer. It's a bird feeder. So you hang it from the tree. It's got a bit of ribbon here. I'm just like knocking all the, the bird feed out. Um, but you've got all the bird feed in here. And then he said that he's got a little place for the bird to perch on the saucer. My nan loves willow pattern plates. And I know this isn't actually a willow pattern. But the colours were very similar. And I just thought that was a really unique little gift. And as I say, for £5, that was such, such, a, um, such a cheap price. So I picked that up for her. I'm just popping it back in the bag so I don't get seed all over my bed. Um, I picked up in there these little doggy treat bags. Um, these were, what were these? I think they were £6. Um, so you get loads of little dog treats in here. But I really liked the bag. So I've got two dogs. Um, and I like the fact that there's two little different types of dog on this bag. Um, so I thought they could have this for Christmas. And my sister's got recently a little Dachshund and Jack Russell mix. Um, and he's, he's a nightmare, but he's very adorable. He's not quite the same coloration, but he definitely has the sausage dog shape. Um, so I'm going to give this to her as part of her Christmas present because I think she'll really like them putting his treats in here. These things might be a bit big for him, so it might be that I give both sets of these to my dogs and then get him some other little bits. But, do you know, he'll probably have a good go on them, to be fair. And I just thought they're really good and they're really well made, actually. 
um, and I'm sure they were six pound each for those little bags. Um, what else was in the craft fair? Oh, there was this gentleman selling um, loads of pin badges, loads and loads of pin badges. And we spotted these and they're Remembrance Day um, themed. So Matt chose these ones. So you've got that one. All gave some, some gave all. The same saying on this one, but you've got the Never Forget. And you've got the Soldier there. And then he picked this one as well. Lest we forget, and it's got the two flags. So they were the three that he chose, and they were three for £10. Um, and then I chose this little gift set. It was actually £13, but he didn't have all of these colours separately. Um, and I love that. The going down of the sun, and in the morning we will remember them. I just thought they were really, really lovely badges. And he did have little certificates up on his stall where he does actually then pass a lot of the profit of this onto the um, RNL. I was going to say RNLI then. And the Royal British Legion, so that they obviously can raise the money from these badges. Um, so that were really lovely. And anything else from the craft fair? Um, this scarf from for my other nan. So I got the cup and saucer for one nan. Then for my other nan, I picked up this scarf. It's a really beautiful mauve colour. It's coming up a bit darker on the screen. It's a bit more pink in real life. Um, and these are rose gold. But apologies about my lighting because it's night. I can't um obviously I've got to use the the ring light instead of the natural light, so it's not really giving you a true colour. That was six pounds that one. And then I think that was oh no, one more thing from the fair itself. Um we found this lady. Where's her card? Valentine Pietri, if I'm saying that correctly. Um she had loads of wreaths for sale, but then she did this thing called a make your own wreath thing. And we thought it was really fun because neither of us have ever made a wreath before and we thought it would be a really fun idea. So for £15 you picked, you got the wreath itself, then you got to choose one of the bows that she'd made and we chose this one. Matt loves reds at Christmas and I think this was the best bow that she had to be fair. Um, so it's obviously got the red and the gold. Then you chose three deluxe um, ornaments. So we've got this little sleigh here with the holly on it and we've got this gold rose and we chose oh this was my favorite one actually these two bells again in gold and then you chose five small ornaments so we picked up these five so i picked up two to oh two toadstools that look like that we've got different ones so two little toadstools then we found these little red berries we picked one of that up and then we picked up a couple of these acorns actually different shades of gold one's more of a champagne one's more of a like a coppery gold um and then we're going to have a little go at making our own wreath we would like some other bits to go on it although the bow itself is huge and um, we'd like some more of these like little acorns and things to hide in it and she had loads of little balls and all sorts um but i don't know that we're going to use the really big ornaments on here or whether we'll save them for our tree and then we'll just focus mostly on these on here. I'm not really too sure. Um, I might do a video once we've made it. And then she gave us a load of um, floristry wire. A few different reels of that. And I just thought that was a really fun idea. And as I say, we don't have a wreath. Um, we don't really have much in terms of decorations. But I just thought that would be a bit more fun that we made it ourselves. Um, and then we went back out into the main market. And we picked up some alcohol for ourselves for over Christmas. So this is from Cottingley Gin. I think you say it like that. I'm not 100% sure. But they had this called Shambles Gold, which is Yorkshire Fudge Vodka Liqueur. Oh, this was to die for. It was so delicious. So I need to be careful not to drink an absolute ton of that over Christmas. And then we picked up these three gins. That one was £12. These were £15 each, but they were three for something. Three for 42 I want to say. I think you saved a couple of quid if you bought the set. Oh, I'm not going to be able to open it now. And we picked up these three. We did taste them all. Um, and we each had our favourites. So we both loved this one. Cottingly Fairy. It's Elderflower Gin. I do like gin. I don't know about any of you. Um, and then Matt loved this one. So you've got the Wizard. It's Violet Gin. And they had it with um, lemonade on the stall. 
tasted just like Palmer Violets. And then if you shake it up, you've got that beautiful shimmer, very much like those Harry Potter bottles. Just absolutely stunning. I love the wax seals on the top. I think they're such a nice touch. And then we asked the man to recommend his favourite for the last one. He recommended this, and he did not disappoint. This is Plum Gin. This is Sugar Plum Fairy, they call it. Um, it's got a little bit of that shimmer in there. But it's all kind of settled at the bottom. Oh my goodness, that was sublime. So, so good. Um, so we got those. And then for Matt's mum, we found a, sh a stall doing the spin-up bits and pieces. So he picked up the motor. And I'll tell you the prices individually. That was £15. He picked up a gold star to go at the top. And that was also £15. And then he picked up this spiral. It's got the large clear crystal and then the smaller yellow one. And then you hang that at the top with the sun in between and then that at the bottom and it constantly turns it round. But he only charges 40 for the lot because for each second item, you, once you bought one item, every item after that was £5 off. So um, I'm just checking the time. Sorry, oh, I've only got about 30 seconds left. Um, so yeah, so we got a really good deal on those. And that was it. That was everything that we got from the market itself. And I have to say, go to York. It was absolutely amazing and I really, really enjoyed myself. And um, thank you everybody for watching. Sorry I'm cutting the end very short, but my my memory is going to run out any second. Hope you're all well. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.